Elementor just announced their brand new theme builder interface and it's much needed. This is what the current theme builder interface looks like and I gotta say it sucks. It's extremely tedious to use and nearly impossible to take one of their theme packs that they release and actually use it on your website. So let's watch this sneak peek release of the new theme builder interface together and see what goodies we can get out of it. Now I'll put a link of course to their video down below in the video description if you want to watch it outside of this video. So let's go ahead and push play. They always have the best video production, uh, the music, everything that they do. I love it. They don't even need words. They just need to show what they've been working on. And we get to see a sneak peek of it right here already. Now what's initially standing out to me is currently the theme builder interface is all done inside of WordPress, but what you can see here, that's no longer going to be the case. Everything's going to be done inside of the Elementor interface, which I think is much better because you're already using Elementor to build everything on your website anyway. So let's continue watching. Okay, what you see here is brilliant in my mind and it's really the missing piece. So when you go into the interface, you can see right here all of the uh, crucial essential parts that you need for a complete website. The problem with the current theme builder is there's no checks and balances that these are the exact pieces you must have to have a complete website. So what typically ends up having happening is, sure, you remember your header, your footer, and your blog post page, but you maybe forget your search results page and to create one of those, or maybe you forget to create your 404 page. What you see here is everything that's essential and required in order to have a complete website. There it is. So there's this new concept that's coming to Elementor version three called a design system. And I'll show you after we watch this, some of the parts of this design system that are already in beta and you can start using right now. Okay, got to show you this right here. So when you're building the various parts of your website, you can click here where it says header. And what does it show you? That it's going to display all of the different header templates that are available that you could start using on your website. So when we look at what's there now, right here, there's no check and balance to make sure that you've added every essential part. And then there's also, it's kind of tedious to actually see the templates that are available. Now let's contrast this just for a quick moment with Divi. So here's Divi and Divi also has a theme builder and when I go into Divi's theme builder it's a blank canvas and you don't have access to any of the templates that Divi has created when you're creating a header. So here I am creating a global header and if I say add it from library it takes me here but guess what it's not going to show me any header templates it just shows me a bunch of page templates so you're kind of left on your own. Let's continue on with the video. Same goes for footer and all the different parts and I think that's pretty much the end of the video here. Gotta say I love their new logo font type. I think this is a custom font type that they had created just for them. I like it. Let's finish out this video. Coming soon, my guess is sometime in September. That would be my guess. So you can see it's going to be a massive improvement from what we currently get. And now they didn't show it in the video, but I would imagine they're going to make it extremely easy to apply an entire site design to your website where it is just nearly impossible to do right now. That's why I've never made a tutorial on any of their site templates because it's so tedious to add to your website, but it looks like that will end up being a much easier process. Now we have some glimpses of what's coming already because it's in the free version and it's in beta. So everything you saw about the theme builder, it's just an Elementor Pro feature, but they're not leaving 
free users in the dust. So here is the Elementor 3 beta that came out maybe a few weeks ago. Actually, sorry, 29 days from making this video, 29 days ago, almost a month already, and they're already on the third beta release. And the main enhancements that this is bringing is globally linked colors and fonts. And I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. You can go here and you can even test this out very easily. And I think this is supposed to be released in late August. Now, the best way to show you what this experience and the flexibility and power that it brings to you, the best way to show you that is actually not with Elementor because they don't really have anything out for it yet other than the feature. However, there's a free WordPress theme called the Cadence theme. It works amazing with Elementor mentor, but it also works great with any page building tool. So not only is the cadence theme the best theme that you can use with Elementor if you're not going to use the hello theme, they just added to the WordPress plugin directory a site templates plugin. And so let me just show you what I'm talking about. So here's one of their site templates, and this is all free as well. So you can see it has its defined style of fonts and colors, but you can easily click click one of these options and immediately change the color scheme of the entire design. So you can see it's using this red and that purple, but if I wanted a green color style, I can go right here and now everything's just changed across the entire site. This doesn't just affect right here. It's not just affecting this. I can choose these options and when I find the color scheme that I want, I can click an import button and now I have a template that's actually useful and customized. Now the template that you see is not done in Elementor, it's done in Gutenberg. However, the free Cadence theme works fantastic with Elementor with some amazing features. I'll put links to that down below if you're interested in checking out a new theme. Like I said, the free, the theme is free as well as the starter templates plugin, which I'm assuming will have Elementor templates as soon as Elementor enables theme developers to predefine the global color palette. But let me show you what that global color palette looks like in Elementor. So here I am in an Elementor page and I'm running this beta of the free version of Elementor version three. And I'm gonna show you the global colors and the global fonts. So earlier this year, they added some default styling, but this takes it a whole lot further. So you would click on the hamburger icon right here and we have site settings and theme builder. So this theme builder doesn't do anything. That is what we just watched the video about. But I can click right here where it says site settings and you see the top turns to blue and this is where where you get some of your theme style features that were released earlier this year. So we've got our, this, these are the two new items right here, the global colors and the global fonts. So now we have a list of colors. I actually added these. Uh, so what you would do is you would click add a color and then right here you would name it and then you would choose what the color is. And whenever you're doing anything anywhere in Elementor where there's a color that you would select, you could select one of these. Now the benefit is you can come here and change it later. I'll show you that in a moment. And you have the same thing for fonts. You can click here where it says global fonts. I added all of these manually, but you can link to these font styles that you create and it makes it easy to change it across your entire website. So let me get out of this and I am not going to save it. And so I'll show you the power of this. Now you just saw it a moment ago inside of the cadence theme it, that I wanted you to feel the impact of it. So, okay. So here is a section. I'll click on it. I'll choose style and you can see right here are colors. So you now have this custom icon right here. So I can click here and I can link it to one of these. So I'm going to link it to what I created as the accent color right there. And you can see it changes. And then we could go down here. And so here's a column right here. So let me go to edit column and I'm going to change that color as well. And I'm going to link it to the global color. So we set this color to one of the global ones in this one. Now, when I go into my site settings and then I go into the global colors, when I change this here, it's linked to those different backgrounds. So I change it here, wherever I've created that link, it's going to change it across my entire website. So I'm gonna click here and say, I want to 
just do something a little different and you see how the color is changing and it's not just changing here it's also changing right there so as I change this uh, you can see it's changing there as well and so this is going to make it a lot more sustainable to have a website where you can tweak colors over time and not have to click through 50 different places and the same goes for your topography everything's globally linked and the beautiful thing is this is in the free version of Elementor. So now when you're going to use the theme builder for Elementor, you're going to be able to really customize it with your style very quickly, your colors and your fonts very, very fast. Now you can already do the exact same thing using the cadence theme. If you want to use Gutenberg for your website and take advantage of some of the performance benefits that come with Gutenberg because cadence theme has this same global colors and global fonts and you can link it to any of the colors that you use inside of Gutenberg when you're building out your website. So that is the new theme builder that's coming to Elementor. I for one am very excited about it because I've been saying all year that I think people should choose one or the other. So one should be using Gutenberg inside of WordPress and not using a page builder because it's simple. It's one interface or Elementor should make it so you could do everything on your site inside of Elementor. So you can kind of stay out of the WordPress interface and do everything in the Elementor interface. I can't tell you how painful it was earlier this year. I sat down with my father-in-law who was trying to uh, make a website and he was using an Elementor template and it's like well how do I change this font and how do I change this color and you have to go jumping back and forth and all around and it was just such a tedious thing and that really got me to connect with the challenges that people that are new to building a website whether it be WordPress or they're using Elementor the real genuine challenges that they face so I'm happy to see that Elementor is totally has all this on their radar and they're working to make it so much easier to build a website with Elementor and keep it all in the Elementor interface so you don't have to go into WordPress for anything. Well, there's no getting away from going into the WordPress interface, but this does go a long way to make things a lot easier in the same Elementor interface. And I got to make a little bit of a disclaimer uh, in this video. I did visit the Elementor headquarters earlier this year, so I did know that this was coming out and uh, I did they did share some of their plans with me what they're planning on so I did know that this was coming out and actually when I went there uh, the first thing I said to them is they got to do something about their theme builder because it's just too tedious to use any of these templates but what I love about what happened is they every issue I brought up with using Elementor was already on their radar they already had a plan for it they already knew what they were going to do to solve that problem and now together we're starting to see a lot of these things unfold including performance that beta that I just showed you that is already out is starting to address performance issues and it's fully on Elementor's radar some of the performance issues that people talk about and they want to make it very fast and address all of these performance issues but they have to do it in a responsible way because they have such a massive user base when you're supporting six million websites you got to be careful when you make a change because it could affect six million different websites so i'm happy to see what's happening here but i'm curious what you think about this new elementor theme builder interface and how they're making it easier but they're also doing more inside of the elementor interface let me know what you think in the comment section down below also if you don't have Elementor Pro I'll have a link down below it's a referral link and if you click on that uh, a little bit of money comes here to support the channel just thought I'd throw that out there if you're not subscribed consider subscribing and click on the notification bell I'll see you in the next video